Imre Nagy, Hungarian, Imer N, the 7th of June 1896 to the 16th of June 1958, was a Hungarian communist politician who was appointed chairman of the Council of Ministers of the Hungarian People's Republic on two occasions. Nagy's second term ended when his non-Soviet-backed government was brought down by Soviet invasion in the failed Hungarian Revolution of 1956, resulting in Nagy's execution on charges of treason two years later. Early life and career Nagy was born in Kapazver, to a peasant family and was apprenticed to a locksmith. His father, Joseph Nagy (1869–1925), was a manorial servant, a county worker, and was later post assembly worker. And his mother, Rosalia Zabo (1877–1969), served as a maid before she was married. He enlisted in the Austro-Hungarian Army during World War I and served on the Eastern Front. He was taken prisoner in 1915. He became a member of the Russian Communist Party and joined the Red Army. Nagy returned to Hungary in 1921. In 1930, he traveled to the Soviet Union and rejoined the Communist Party, also becoming a Soviet citizen. He was engaged in agricultural research, but also worked in the Hungarian section of the Comintern. He was expelled from the party in 1936 and later worked for the Soviet Statistical Service. Rumors that he was an agent of the Soviet Secret Service surfaced later, begun by Hungarian party leader Karoly Gross in 1989, allegedly in an attempt to discredit Nagy. Nagy evidently did serve, however, as an informant for the NKVD during his time in Moscow and provided names to the secret police as a way to prove his loyalty a common tactic for foreign communists in the Soviet Union at the time. After the Second World War, Nagy returned to Hungary. He was the Minister of Agriculture in the government of Bela Miklos de Dalnok, delegated by the Hungarian Communist Party. He distributed land among the peasant population. In the next government, led by Tildy, he was the Minister of Interior. At this period he played an active role in the expulsion of the Hungarian Germans. In the communist government, he served as Minister of Agriculture and in other posts. He was also Speaker of the National Assembly of Hungary 1947-1949, after two years as Chairman of the Council of Ministers of the Hungarian People's Republic 1953-1955, during which he promoted his new course. In socialism, Nagy fell out of favor with the Soviet Politburo. He was deprived of his Hungarian Central Committee, Politburo, and all other party functions and, on 18 April 1955, he was sacked as chairman of the Council of Ministers. Revolution Nagy became chairman of the Council of Ministers of the Hungarian People's Republic again, this time by popular demand, during the anti-Soviet revolution in 1956. Soon he moved toward a multi-party political system. On 1 November, he announced Hungary's withdrawal from the Warsaw Pact and appealed through the UN for the great powers, such as the United States and the United Kingdom, to recognize Hungary's status as a neutral state. Throughout this period, Nagy remained steadfastly committed to Marxism, but his conception of Marxism was as a science that cannot remain static, and he railed against the rigid dogmatism of the Stalinist monopoly. When the revolution was crushed by the Soviet invasion of Hungary, Nagy, with a few others, was given sanctuary in the Yugoslav embassy. In spite of a written safe conduct of free passage by Janos Kader, on the 22nd of November, Nagy was arrested by the Soviet forces as he was leaving the Yugoslav embassy and taken to Snagov, Romania. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Secret trial and execution. Subsequently, the Soviets returned Nagy to Hungary, where he was secretly charged with organizing the overthrow of the Hungarian People's Democratic State and with treason. Nagy was secretly tried, found guilty, sentenced to death and executed by hanging in June 1958. His trial and execution were made public only after the sentence had been carried out. According to Fedor Berlatsky, a Kremlin insider, Nikita Khrushchev had Nagy executed as a lesson to all other leaders in socialist countries." American journalist John Gunther described the events leading to Nagy's death as, "...an episode of unparalleled infamy." 
Nagy was buried, along with his co-defendants, in the prison yard where the executions were carried out and years later was removed to a distant corner section 301 of the new public cemetery, Budapest, face down, and with his hands and feet tied with barbed wire. Next to his grave stands a memorial bell inscribed in Latin, Hungarian, German and English. The Latin reads, Vivos voco, mortuos plango, fulgura frango, which is translated as, I call the living, I mourn the dead, I break the thunderbolts. Memorials and political rehabilitation During the time when the Stalinist leadership of Hungary would not permit his death to be commemorated, or permit access to his burial place, a cenotaph in his honor was erected in Per Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. In 1989, Imre Nagy was rehabilitated and his remains reburied on the 31st anniversary of his execution in the same plot after a funeral organized in part by the democratic opposition to country's Stalinist regime. Over 100,000 people are estimated to have attended Nagy's reinterment. The occasion of Nagy's funeral was an important factor in the end of the communist government in Hungary. Topic: <laughs> Writings. The collected writings of Nagy, most of which he wrote after his dismissal as chairman of the Council of Ministers in April 1955, were smuggled out of Hungary and published in the West under the title Imre Nagy on Communism. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Family. Nagy was married to Maria Ajedo. The couple had one daughter, Erzabet Nagy (1927–2008), a Hungarian writer and translator. Erzabet Nagy married Ferenc Janosi. Imre Nagy did not object to his daughter's romance and eventual marriage to a Protestant minister, attending their religious wedding ceremony in 1946 without Politburo permission. In 1982, Erzabet Nagy married Janos Vezi. <laughs> Nagy in film and the arts In 2003 and 2004, the Hungarian director Marta Mesharos produced a film based on Nagy's life after the revolution, entitled A Temetetlan Hallet English, The Unburied Body IMDb entry. Nagy is mentioned and seen in the movie Children of Glory. References Further reading Gyula Hay, Julius Hay. Born 1900, Memoirs. Hutchinson, 1974. Johanna Granville. Imre Nagy aka Volodia, A Dent in the Martyr's Halo, Cold War International History Project Bulletin, No. 5 Woodrow Wilson Center for International Scholars, Washington, D.C., Spring, 1995, pp. 28, and 34-37. Johanna Granville, Trans, Soviet Archival Documents on the Hungarian Revolution, 24 October to 4 November 1956, Cold War International History Project Bulletin, No. 5 Woodrow Wilson Center for International Scholars, Washington, D.C., Spring, 1995, pp. 22-23, 29-34. Johanna Granville, The First Domino, International Decision Making During the Hungarian Crisis of 1956, Texas A&M University Press, 2004. ISBN 1-58544-298-4 KGB Chief Vladimir Kruchkov to CCCPSU, 16 June 1989 trans. Johanna Granville. Cold War International History Project Bulletin 5, 36 from TSKHSD, F89, per 45, DOK, 82, Alahos Dornbach, The Secret Trial of Imre Nagy, Greenwood Press, 1995. ISBN 0 275 94332 1. Peter Onwin, Voice in the Wilderness, Imre Nagy and the Hungarian Revolution, Little, Brown, 1991. ISBN 0-356-20316-6 Carl Benziger, Imre Nagy, Martyr of the Nation, Contested History, Legitimacy, and Popular Memory in Hungary. Lexington Books, 2008. ISBN 0-7391-2330-0 External links <laughs>